Yes, I know I'm very late on this topic, but the reason why I'm only now talking about CS is because for the past week or so, every single word that I left my mouth somehow turned into garbled nonsense. But no illness is going to stop me from talking about the Ryzen 7000 CPUs with 3D vCache, which AMD recently announced at the CES keynote. That's right, just a few months after the release of the already excellent Ryzen 7000 CPUs, AMD are upping the game once again. And this time we're not just getting one SKU like last time with the 5800X 3D. No, no, no. That chip was so successful for AMD that they literally sold out everywhere. So of course they didn't want to let such a golden goose escape, hence why we now have three different X3D SKUs in the AMD lineup with the 16 core 7950X3D, the 12 core 7900X3D and the 8 core 7800X3D. As we've seen last time, the 3D vCache does wonders for performance, but more importantly AMD really found an untapped market for a CPU that is fast slow without having more cores. And once again, for people who don't want all those extra cores, you do have an 8 core CPU with 3D vCache. But if you need more cores, then things get really exciting because the brand new 1750X 3D looks insane with a whopping 128 megabytes of level 3 cache. And while all the other specs are pretty much identical, the TDP is actually lower. 50 watts lower. And while we don't know exactly what kind of black magic AMD used to get the TDP so low, it will definitely help with overclocking the CPU if you want to take it even further when they launch in February. So that's right, they're very close. And it can be all yours for just... Well, actually, we don't know pricing yet, which is uh, disappointing. I mean, what's even the point of being that one journalist who's like one week late to the news if I don't even have all the information yet because AMD haven't released it? But whatever. They are launching soon, so they better have some prices ready for us, like right now will be preferable. And also seeing how AMD is also launching the non-X variants of the brand new Ryzen 7000 CPUs, there's bound to be a CPU in this entire product stack that matches your budget ideally. So it's a pretty good time to invest into the AM5 platform if you haven't done so already. Now don't mind me, I'll just be over here crying over the fact that I already bought a 17050X and I should have just waited for an X3D instead. Anyway, let me know what you think of all of this down in the comments below. And while you're still here, maybe check out our Patreon, because even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way, while well, you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my extinct patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Justin Rage, Elefroniak, Barnish Falcon, Max Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Jesse Hubman. Thank you guys so, so much for truly goes a long way. Down here you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whenever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.